I know I could love me more. I should love me more. I would know her mind and the pains and the sorrows and I would not have to hold her wrists to keep her near me or have to ask for love in return. I would cradle her heavy head as she would mine. We'd whisper soothing secrets to each other on dark nights like candles flickering to one another. She wisps through lupin growing in fields surrounding a cottage in the woods. She knocks on my door with excitement and schemes and we love each other and wipe tears from our cheeks. And when I look at her, I can't understand how I could have ever locked her out. I will find you. I will find you. Please keep our secret life in the forest safe for me until I can run to you. Until I can find me again. One night nearly a year ago last July, I was sitting at the same desk, sipping a glass of wine and looking out over the lupin. I was thumbing through my journal where, long before I'd known I'd one day own this cottage, a sadder, younger, more lost me had written about finding myself again in a cottage surrounded by a field of lupin. I tore out a piece of paper from my notebook and folded it up, doodling on the cover, imagining a journal that captured the way this place makes me feel and the way it helped me find myself again. Journaling has always helped me figure out what's going on in my own head, and it really helps me sit and be present with my thoughts and hopes and pains and observations. Leafing through my journal helps me see how far I've come and where I've been. That's why I decided to launch this journal and its matching tote as the next set in the Lupin Lane collection. I like to think of these books out in the world, in your hands, filling up with your stories and your ongoing paths through life. The pre-sale is only open for one more week, so if you'd like to order your own journal or tote, click the link in my bio or go to lupinlaneco.com. Thank you so much for supporting this little endeavor of mine. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. Oh, it's so warm out, Molly. It's so cute that the dandelions like like close up at night. Like this morning they were all like this and then they all came out. I'm getting asparagus from the garden for egg scramble. Oh my god, look at the flowers! Look at them blooming! They're so gorgeous! That's a crazy looking spider. Whoa. so cute, Molly. Yum. <laughs> Look at this life. Wow, it looks fake. We tried. The bugs are terrible. Pollen is also really bad. Never been better. Yum. This is like my favorite way to have asparagus. We're going to drive over to her boat and cut off some plastic and cut off some fiberglass. That's what we're doing. Alrighty, folkies. Molly's boat. We're gonna cut off the tarp. Oh, gross. Oh, and beware, as you start cutting some of the plastic, you're gonna get leaked on. Yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> beware. Yeah. How are the bugs up there? I don't know yet. Oh, the moldy watering is so oh, no, gross. There's so much water pouring into the boat. <laughs> I wish I'd been over here when that happened. Oh my god, these bugs. <laughs> oh, I'm getting bit. Wow, the bugs are so nice. What's happening is Molly has not had her boat in the water because she put a mast on it and it started sagging. Yeah. So we just, just gotta figure that out. There's nothing very structural 
in there that we can tell. The whole hatch came out last mm -hmm. summer, so we could look in there. Mm -hmm. And we don't think that's where the step is exactly, so we think this needs to be reinforced. So we think it's yeah. like off a little bit. And then there is supposed to be fiberglass core and then the fiberglass deck. There's no core. We don't, we didn't see any. <laughs> okay, now that you've explained it to me, it doesn't actually seem like that hard of a job. Like, um, I think the like, fiberglassing just gets finicky, like, to redo. It seems manageable, and then you open things up and... Okay, I love you. I'm gonna go take it down a wall. Bye! Bye! You look very cute. Oh no. It's a hummingbird stuck in here. Hey, buddy. Hey, 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 hey. Will you hurt me? Don't hurt me, okay? You're freaking yourself out. Okay, look. Stop. Come on. Why are you doing that? Look, out. There you go. Yes, out. <gasps> good job. Oh, good job. Wow. Okay, I don't know if this is gonna help me at all, but I'm just unscrewing where the mast attaches. And I'm hoping if I remove this, maybe I can like under it, but I don't really think that's the case. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was pointless. All right, guys, here's the deal. I want to cut this wall off of my house. It's not structural, I checked. So here's my bedroom. If you haven't seen it, look at how beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I did that. So this is the stairs. This is my bedroom. And then this is like the hallway to the bathroom and the like studio guest room. I hate this wall. I don't, I don't hate it. I don't have any strong feelings about it, but I would love for it to go because you walk up, it's just so dark. And if it was gone, you'd get all the light from the windows up here, like immediately, you know, like it would just make the space feel really bright and airy. And right now it just is closed off. Like I understand why they had a wall here and that's because it creates an extra bedroom. And I think they had kids. So having a bedroom would be nice. <laughs> what I want to do is take it down and this will still be like a guest room slash studio space i think because i live alone i'll just make it kind of like an art room earth and craft room have a big a big like craft table here and then i was thinking like a fold out couch on this wall with like a little coffee table and that way when i have guests over they can fold out the couch it can become a bed and then i was thinking since this wall won't be here i'll do like a sliding panel that can kind of close off and give them privacy this is not going to all happen at once but i could get started just by taking this wall down which i think should be relatively easy my only concern is that there's outlets and switches. So I'll just have to turn off the power while I'm doing this and find a location for those to live somewhere. I don't know where yet. Okay, so I know that this wall is not structural because you can look up here and there's just a gap all the way straight through on the top. So I'm not worried about that. I'm gonna go shut off the power up here so that I don't have to worry about electrocuting myself and dying. And then it should be straightforward. I should just be, it's just a bunch of planks. We've done this before. Sort of. Oh, baby, you. Okay, now they're off. They're off and off. You got no power. Now, we remove them. Actually, let's remove the slats first. You say he's just a friend. Let them and you're too lazy to go downstairs and get a screwdriver in the club. This is essentially a flathead. Pretty much exactly the same tool. Get out of there! Okay, I got completely derailed from this project. It doesn't look like it because it's still here and you got left up here. Molly and I made a cheese platter. <laughs> Molly's been theoreticizing about her boat. I decided I'm gonna build a pergola <laughs> on, the, on the deck. There's just a lot of things that you can do in life and I wanna do all of them. That's what I've been doing. Okay, so the problem is that it has been very buggy. If I stand here long enough, they come around. 
And all I do is stand at my at my windows and peer out like a dog that isn't allowed outside. Because the bugs. All I want to do is be outside and I can't. So I want to make a pergola and then just like have stripey mosquito netting over it. And then I can hang out outside when I want to hang out outside, you know? So that's the thought process there. I'm a visual learner, so I'm gonna set up some things. I feel like this would be a really simple, easy, easy, easy project. I think it would look really nice too. Ah, oh, bug in my eyeball. Hannah and I decided it's gonna be way too buggy up here to do a lot of projects. So we bought a bunch of PVC pipe and bug netting that's coming next week and we're gonna make a little frame and kind of make the boat into a tent. There's a whole bunch of water in my bilge, so I'm just gonna vacuum it out. Probably, I'm just gonna leave that uncovered so it can air it out. I took that hatch out. It's not watertight anymore, but I plan on keeping it like that so that I can cut out and fix the deck right there. I was gonna make a better like kind of teepee frame over the top of it to like keep water off but I ran out of time, I gotta go. So I'm just gonna tape it with some of the plastic that the boat was covered in for the winter and I'll hopefully get to it next week. It's gonna serve our purposes for the day. All right, well, it's freezing. It's so cold. It's 50 degrees out today. It was like 80 yesterday for comparison. You never know what you're gonna get. So uh, I'm in my insulated overalls and sweater and my sister and I spent the morning in town gathering supplies. She's building like a tarp thing over her over her boat because the bugs yesterday were insane. They've been crazy this week. To address, a lot of people are always asking me, did she steal my shoes too? Where are my shoes? No, nope, they're in here, she didn't do that. <laughs> I feel like one of my most asked questions all the time is what about bugs? And I'm like, what about bugs? <laughs> like they just exist. I don't know, I have to deal with them. Sometimes they're fine, sometimes they're not. This past week has been miserable because every time I try to go outside, they find me in about three seconds. My sister is just building like a tent thing for over her boat so that she can put mosquito netting and then she can be outside. Why was I talking about that? Just, oh, cause she's not with me right now. So that's what she's doing. Meanwhile, I was in town with her while she bought that supplies and I bought a bunch of plants because I failed guys. I really failed at this whole seed start thing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's all I know. There's one in here. Like some of them grew, they grew and then they, fell over and died. I was watering, like I was spritzing them all the time. I don't know what they needed. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that was when I went to Mexico and I had to leave for a week. So they just, they were like, boop, bye. So I started them again late. So I just, anyway, <laughs> oh my God, Kyle, I'm so sorry. Me on my rambling spree. So anyway, I got a bunch of plant starters, like the ones that I was trying to start in there. I just, I just ended up buying them from the store. So we're gonna go plant those in the garden and that's what we're doing and I'm freezing. Look how cute. Here we go. You guys are joining the family. I feel like they'd probably prefer to not be transplanted while it's cold out. This is the only time I have to do this. I need more hands. There's weird noises. Ah! My tripod is falling apart. Hands are full. All of the tulips are beautiful and blooming.
Oh boy. Okay, I am leaving the homestead. I got as much as I could done here. Could done here? Could done? I got as much as I could done here. It's so cute. But now I had to go back to the cottages because I have some friends coming over this weekend and those houses really need some help before I before I disappear into La La Land with friends. So going over there. I think I just realized that Dixie's never been here to the cottage. You're here. You've never been here. This is where Despero was born. How do you feel? You don't know. She doesn't know. You don't know. All right, let's go inside. I gotta make your big cage. There you go. All right, Despero, where are you at? Hi, little mongoose. What, do I have cold hands or something? Come here, baby cheeks. Here you are, turn around. Let me snuggle you. Okay, I did the main thing. I got the, the mice. I got the mice in their enclosure. They can go to sleep now. It's their nighttime. It's only fair. I'm starving, so I'm gonna go into town and get some food, and then I'm gonna go just, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna start with, but it's already like two o'clock, so I, you know, the day has really gone away for me, but I'm excited. I'm gonna smash some sweet food. <laughs> I'm gonna smash some food in my face, and then I think I'm gonna just like work on raking maybe, and that way in the morning, I'll just wake up and I'll get going really hard on the house and I don't know I'm just talking 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 I'm gonna go <laughs> We're gonna go release you while my coffee brews, okay? about the day bed is what I do if it rains and I just bring the pillows and blankets in when I'm not using it and then the waterproof or the, <laughs> the mattress and its cover are waterproof so I just leave the mattress out here and it's fine. It's over the window obviously. That's it. Simple as that. Not so cool, 
Yes, I am eating last night's spaghetti because I don't have any other food. Oh my god, the most lovely place to sit and edit my video. Um, I just finished that, it's about 11 o'clock. And I think it's about time I get dressed and start doing chores because I have friends coming up for the weekend. Um, and man oh man, do I not have anywhere for them to sleep because the sheets and shit are just very questionable considering no one's been here all winter and the mice have run rampant, so. Anyone who is new here, uh, this is the second cabin. It's just across the way from the first one. Um, this one just doesn't have plumbing, which is much like the other one at the moment. My shop, I keep all the junk here. And then upstairs last year, I finished this bedroom, which is a perfect guest bedroom. I've cleaned, oh, I've cleaned the upstairs room for my guests. And now I am gonna go clean the outhouse because obviously the bathroom is not working uh, inside the house. So the outhouse is the only option, but luckily there is an option, you know? Unfortunately, there is a dead bird in here. So I have to, I have to get him out. I've really gotten to be good with dead animals living out in the woods because they just happen. Oh, unfortunate. I won't show you guys. Yeah. Well, something else will eat them and that will be the circle of life, unfortunately just the way things go. Again, new people here. Yes, I do have an outhouse with a full glass wall that overlooks the forest. Can't believe you guys are watching me clean an outhouse. Okay, we got a bumblebee. You got a little bit stuck in here, but I'm not gonna hurt you. You sound more and more mad. Maybe I'll just leave you alone then. You wanna stay stuck in here? That's fine. Well, I left the door open for you, so don't hit yourself on the way out. Okay, we're checking in on the little orchard that I planted out back here. Um, again, the winter was really hard, so I checked on it earlier and there's a lot of trees that need to get cut because they fell in. We're gonna, we're gonna clean it up. Tools I gotta grab, and I don't know. Whatever. Don't like these things. I don't like them. Okay. okay, let's get some out. Here's the fucking music. It's a whole country. He wanted a bride, I was making my own name.
are. Can I like replant you? You're pretty. Look at things are blooming. This is a toka plum. Yeah, toka plum. That's the most blooming thing. This is a cherry tree. That was here, I didn't plant that one. And then this apple tree, which is very difficult to see, but that one's, oh, freaking bugs, man. Oh, right in my eyeball. Why do they do that? That's an apple tree. <laughs> I mean, I gotta get out of here. There's a cold hardy kiwi. Cold hardy, yeah. And that guy has leaves happening. Oh my God, I have to go change. I was impatient and didn't want to change, but the dress keeps getting caught on shit. And bug spray, we need some bug spray up in here. Never let these times sever. 